what did you do this off season to transform into the player you are right now? I think this off season I really just worked a lot harder. Worked on little things like footwork drills, did a lot of ball drills with my roommate, and just really stressing the importance of finishing every play and giving everything a hundred percent. So really just doing little things. Where were you when you found out you won the award? I was in a team meeting. Coach Zook, Coach Zook told me uh, I was pretty proud. And then just let let it go on, roll off the tongue. What was the reaction of your teammates? Yeah, they uh, they they really they thanked me. I mean, congratulated me. Uh, it was a pretty positive response. Who was your roommate? Ernest Thomas. It, it, I mean, it seems always seems easier in the summer to envision offensive players working, you know, doing seven on seven things and so forth. And, is it, is it harder to be a defensive player and make that progress working on your own? I wouldn't say it's harder. It probably requires a, a little bit more effort because on offense you can just run routes and catch balls. Mm -hmm. Defense is it's more tedious things. So just doing little things requires a little bit more effort. Did Coach Vic have you preparing to play two linebacker positions over the summer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I actually found out I was going to play two positions when we, right after we got out of the camp. So like the first week before Arkansas State, really just taking everything in and really learning the mic position a little bit more. And what is the purpose of that for you to be able to play the two? Just uh, like a security blanket. Yeah. If Ian needs a blow, I can go to Mike. Of course, I know Will played it last year. So just to keep a rotation going, that way we can uh, stay rested during the game. Uh, Coach Vick has talked about how last year he wasn't as confident in the depth and, and that you were that depth, right, last year. Were there times when you went in where you weren't exactly positive what maybe you were doing? Uh, it was it was a couple times early. You know, being a freshman, you really don't have a good grasp on the defense. And you get out there and you get kind of anxious. So it was a couple times where you go in, and you know what to do, but then you let your nerves take over and you kind of forget what to do. Is there more depth this season at the linebacker position? Oh, yeah, I think we got a good two deep, uh, the mic and the wheel. Some position we got a three deep, so I think it's a lot more depth this year. The young guys really came in and stepped up to the plate. Pretty proud of them for that. The announcer said that Arizona State was Jonathan Brown's coming out party. Do you feel like that? Uh, I, I think that was, like I said, I think that was a good starting spot. Uh, now I just hope to get better each week. Uh, I think Corey legit. Uh, I look up to him a lot. Last year when he came, his, he had a big game, Michigan State, and after that he just kept getting better, getting better. So that's that's something I plan to do. What are you going to take from this performance and carry over to next, next week? I think the biggest thing I take is if you play hard, a lot of plays come to you. But next week, I really, I'm really, i really going to work on just doing my assignment. Uh, we had a lot of missed assignments on defense, but I think effort kind of overcame that. So really just going out and trying to play a perfect game. Have you heard from Corey since he won the award? Uh, no, I haven't heard from Corey. How, how did you end up here? Just through the recruit process, fell in love with the place, felt comfortable. So that's really how I ended up here. Who did it come down to? It came down to here, LSU, Ole Miss, and Memphis. Did Coach Vic, coaching your dad, come into play? I think I was already, uh, Illinois was already at the top when Coach Vic came, but that kind of added some reassurance that this was the place I needed to be and that he had the best interest in mind for me. So that was kind of icing on the cake. And you got recruited a lot of fullback and linebacker too. Mm -hmm. What uh, I know some schools looked at you fullback. Why did you want to play linebacker? Uh, I like offense, but defense is where it's at. I mean, <laughs> defense, you get to be a lot more aggressive. I think linebacker is my natural position. And I just like defense a little bit more. With both of your fathers, I mean, I guess you share football with both of them. Then is that mm -hmm. kind of unique for you, just to kind of have both those? Yeah, you, you kind of get two inputs. Uh, my stepdad is a little bit more critical, just because like he, he he's been around me a lot more, so he knows a little bit more. And my dad, he kind of gives a coaching point of view, being that he is a coach. So it's kind of kind of like you get the coach, then you get the father. Where is he coach? Uh, University of Memphis. Do you often talk to him about football? Yeah, 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 I talk to my dad probably once a week, just about different stuff, football, life, so pretty good thing.